Planet K2 is believed to cause troubles, create issues in one's life. Or I would say I've heard often that the success from mega success, they suddenly lose everything. Well, what is the truth? K2 planet in your astro chart or in your birth chart or Uranus or Neptune, Rahu and K2, they are called shadow planets. But particularly about K2, look at your birth chart, see in which house is K2 placed. K2 energy, K2 has a job to do. Yes, just imagine you have a guest coming to your house and is going to stay for long. You did not invite this guest. And you cannot ask this guest to leave. This guest is going to come to your house on its own time and leave on its own time, whether you hate it, love it or like it. Now, this guest visits everyone in their life. And that is Ketu. So what would you do? June 2023, you can spend these three days in Bali retreat. Mein. जहां पे इन तीन दिनों में आप को अपनी पर्सनल स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ महसूस होगी एनर्जी हीलिंग मेडिटेशन के साथ ही आपकी पर्सनल लाइफ आपकी बर्थ डेट आपकी कुंडली के आधार पर वो कौन सी दिशा है या आपको अपनी पर्सनल लाइफ में जो ग्रोथ चाहिए कुछ अमेजिंग टेक्निक्स को सीखने के साथ-साथ मेरे साथ वन ऑन वन जो टाइम भी आप स्पेंड करेंगे और ये एक स्मॉल ग्रुप होगा इस रिट्रीट में जो आप जो नई चीजें सीखेंगे सीखने के बाद इस रिट्रीट के दौरान आपको यह क्लैरिटी मिलेगी कि लाइफ में आपको सक्सेस कहां से मिलेगी किस क्षेत्र में और कैसे वो अपनी एनर्जी हीलिंग के साथ वो एनर्जी मेडिटेशन के साथ दैट स्पिरिचुअल क्लैरिटी आपको लाइफ में बहुत कामयाबी दे सकती है इस 3 दिन के बाली रिट्रीट की जो डेट्स हैं सारी डिटेल्स आपको मेरे वेबसाइट पे मिल जाएंगी वो लिंक मैंने नीचे शेयर किया है सी यू ऑल इन द रिट्रीट सो ऑफ्टन व्हेन अ गेस्ट विजिट्स योर हाउस दे नोटिफाई यू दे आर ऑन देयर वे और दे विल बी विजिटिंग यू सिमिलरली व्हेन केतु प्लैनेट इज विजिटिंग यू इट्स सेंस नोटिफिकेशंस इट्स सेंस यू मैसेज बाय creating certain instances in your life you may lose your job you may lose your name and fame or relationship breakups or emotional detachments or creates havoc in life and it's unpleasant it's painful ketu is your karma whatever you did in your previous birth that karmic alignment it's here to teach you ketu brings transformation it is a non materialistic planet but hear me here K2 is the planet that's your brand all the mega gurus mentors across the world from old age for long have been the epitome of success only when they followed K2 in a positive way so what is K2 first this is the guest which you have to welcome with your open arms you cannot complain yes you may lose the job you may fail in your examination you may have been a topper in your school but suddenly you're just failing all the classes things you used to do with ease now you're finding a lot of difficulty or you had a huge success and suddenly you lost all your investment that's ketu ketu is detachment ketu is a transformative planet when it walks into your life it will send the messages by creating such experiences which is painful and people start chasing going to astrologers or trying to find remedies but during this time frame no matter what remedy you do it doesn't give the positive result just like the headmaster who is trying to teach you something in a harsh way so shrimad bhagavad gita in that krishna said do your karma do not expect the results and that is ketu so if you want to achieve mega success if you want to become a millionaire monk if you want to really find that success which you did not even imagine that is the brand that is what ketu gives you when and how first welcome this planet in your life with open heart and ketu does that to cut that take away your success your business your job your relationship 
to develop the realization within you so you transform and that's a very hard way of teaching i agree there's no other way it's a very strict teacher ketu brings a transformation in your life now whatever placement is ketu in your birth chart is it in first second twelfth seventh whatever the first rule of success of finding that mega success via ketu and wealth is check your birth chart and kundli which house placement where is ketu sitting do the work your karma your work associated with that or have a hobby where you doing that work so ketu is placed in your first house bring a routine in yourself develop a habit of doing things consistently wherever placement of ketu is if you try to chase that if ketu is placed in second house and you're chasing success and wealth and money you may have a lot of issues with your family lot of difficult times financially because you'll be chasing it will cut you but the minute you start to do the work related to second house jewelry your speech your family business and your actions without expecting success without expecting results or something in return that is ketu ketu says i'll reward you if you do your actions with humility ketu comes to your life to build that detachment so if you yourself inculcate the habit of detaching yourself from the fruits of your karma that is ketu and ketu brings those painful experiences in life to develop that humility in you people may be egoistic because of the name and fame or the wealth or the riches or even the looks or lot of support ketu will hit you where it hurts the most it will take away from you that you really hold dear to your heart because that is a harsh way of teaching you be humble the minute you see in your nature you are building ego get ready this is the guest will teach in a harsh way but now that ketu has showed up in your life with a mahadasha planet or you're just looking at the time looking into birth chart where is ketu place ask yourself if it's in second house do the work related to second house with full humility and good intention ketu is intention ketu is roots be grounded that is all ketu wants to teach you don't think you are the one who's doing it remember there is the superpower which has put that date of birth and planetary placement in your chart and divine doesn't make mistake don't blame certain planet for this and that but it's telling you do the work related to the area where i am showing up in your birth chart but do not expect because in third house you will be putting a lot of hard work maybe taking good care of your younger siblings and you are working very hard but do not complain be grateful and the gratitude that humility will really bring you success don't expect which is a hard learning but that is what ketu is here to bring the transformation in your life if it is in fourth house that doesn't mean you won't have your property or a good family personal life but it's telling you you'll have lot of responsibilities you have to detach yourself don't expect that people you are caring for they will reciprocate it's a learning for your soul in this karma in fifth take care of your kids and be careful about where you are spending your time in terms of entertainment and hobby that may lead to some trouble so ketu is also gives you a smaller chance ketu is more a turtle not a rabbit rabbit is more rahu so with ketu it is your brand ketu is a non materialistic so any time you're chasing materialistic stuff or relationships where you're looking for that desire to be fulfilled you will be just chasing you won't get versus ketu says do your karma right don't expect stop chasing in six either the enemies will create problem or legal troubles or income tax or taxation departments you will get notices or you take care of people and serve them with good intention do what you do in an organized structured way seventh is your day to day work your partnerships your relationships may go through hard time that's the way ketu teaches but you cannot expect in return if this connect yourself with astrology do some deep research or associate with 
insurance or taxation side. Otherwise, you will have issues. Ninth is find a guru or mentor or share your knowledge. Tenth is don't chase name and fame. Here's the other thing. Wherever Ketu is placed, you will be really desperately trying to chase that. And Ketu, the more you chase, it's not going to give you. It is the best planet if you see the best gurus in the world from time again and again whose words connect to you. Ketu hits where it hurts hard. Ketu is telling you, based on your karma, it's been placed in your birth chart in a certain position. Detach yourself, but do your karma with that house with full positive intention. Welcome Ketu in your life. In 11, you'll have extra responsibility, friends, family, larger community. Don't expect or NGO serve. 12th is moksha, meditation. However, yoga, make sure you are inculcating the habit or what Ketu really wants you to do. Build that structure in your life. Ketu is a structure. Ketu is intention. Ketu wants you to be humble. Ketu wants you to thank your ancestors. You are chasing. There are a lot of problems in your life and you are chasing those. Ketu is the guest that is asking you stop what you are chasing. Do what I am saying. And when you do what I am saying, change your habits. Bring those qualities in your life. I will brand you. I will give you the wealth. I will give you mega success. Condition is have positive intention. Have good feeling. Do your karma without expecting anything and do the karma related to the area that I teach you. And this guest visits everyone, every house. And when it announces its visit with the big, that big event is huge loss. In that time people really recover. Oh, what happened? Is this happening in our life? That is what Ketu is. But rather than blaming, trying to fix it, take a step back and see what is this period trying to teach me? And let me know when you look at your chart, where is Ketu place? What transformation it brought in your life? Do share it with your friends and family. Take care.